It is a warm summer day in Seattle, so let's make some cold brew. Cold brew usually takes 12 to 24 hours, but this method only takes three minutes. All you need is a Barazza grinder, an AeroPress, and I'm using the flow control filter cap, some fresh beans, and of course, your favorite cup. Let's get into it. So on the Encore ESP, I'm grinding at about setting 20. I know on cold brew, you usually go a little bit coarser, but because we're trying to speed up the extraction time, we're gonna grind a little bit finer today. I'm using 15 grams of coffee, and if you don't have a scale, you can use the AeroPress scoop and it's about 15 grams. So next we're gonna pre-wet the filter. Now you can place the air press on top of your cup and add 15 grams of coffee. We're gonna start by adding 100 grams of water at room temperature. Now we're gonna stir vigorously for one minute, and I find that chopsticks are the best for this. Okay. Usually when you're brewing coffee, you use hot water to extract solubles, but in our case, we're replacing hot water with agitation, and that's how we're gonna cut down from 12 to 24 hours down to just minutes. And in our case, we're just gonna stir until we hit the one minute mark. And that's just about a minute. And now all you have to do is just top it off to 240 grams. Okay, we're gonna place the plunger on top and then at the two minutes and 30 second mark, we're gonna plunge for about 30 seconds. If you press any harder than that and you're not using the flow control cap, things can get a little messy. So press for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm running out of space here, so I'm gonna move everything into this pitcher. And we'll keep going. And you'll stop when you hear the air start to hiss. Once you're done, you can pop the puck into a compost bin. And what you're left with is a nice, rich cold brew concentrate that you can throw right on top of ice, or you can cut with a little bit of water to taste. Cheers. Awesome. So the coffee's sweet with a super heavy mouthfeel, but it's not too acidic, and that's why people tend to love cold brew. But if you're like me and you wanna boost the acidity to get a little bit more sweetness out of the cup, follow for part two to see how I do it.